Yep, so today I want to talk about Garp, alright, he's, he's kind of the One Piece anime employee of the month right now, and you already know what that means, people are going to be cock riding him to affinity like me, and some are going to be fucking shitting on him relentlessly, it's just how this community is, unfortunately. And in general, I believe Garp to be a pretty misunderstood character, okay, some of you nasty individuals don't have the brain power that I do to comprehend some of this shit. So today I'm going to be sharing some of my ethereal knowledge about Monkey D. Garp with you. So first thing I want to talk about is pretty much every Garp hater's main gripe with his character. And it's the fact that he didn't do shit when Ace was up on the podium at Marineford. He even went to the extent to defend the podium like punching Marco away and shit. But look, you stupid fucks. Imagine the place you worked for your entire motherfucking life. You dedicated your life to this place. Like, our Garp is 80 years old. He's been a Marine since he was probably late teens, early 20s. So, about 60 goddamn years with this organization. Yeah, he doesn't fuck with the guys at the top, but he's sworn loyalty to the Navy and shit. So, those are his boys for the most part, with the exception of a few, like, a kind. So, Garp being put up on that podium caused quite the dilemma for him. Does he throw his entire career away that he had spent his entire life building up and probably getting thrown in the slammer for the rest of his life, but there's you know, there's still a small chance that he can be saved by like a third party? Or does he save his adopted grandson himself and probably die in the process? It's a tough ass decision that nobody can make in like a split second. That's why you see him up there at that podium with Ace crying, getting pissed at him, saying like, why the fuck didn't you just do what I said? Because he is pissed at him for putting him in this position to make such a tough ass decision. And he ultimately made the decision to just sit back and let it happen. Like, let's be honest, Marco wasn't going to save Ace and he let Luffy punch him away, so he didn't affect the outcome too much. And he ended up regretting the absolute fuck out of that shit, which I don't blame him. If he took the save Ace and die route, he wouldn't really have anything to regret, would he? So now that brings us the Kobe situation and people are saying, oh, why is he saving Kobe? But he didn't save his grandson. So, okay. There is no fucking dilemma to be had about this situation to Garp. Yeah, he's risking his life to save Kobe, but that's just part of the job. And he doesn't lose his fucking job with the Marines for saving Kobe. So there's a massive difference here that people don't understand, and it grinds my motherfucking gears. But anyway, let, let's get into the weird power discussion around Garp, because he's pretty polarizing in that little facet as well. So Garp, as far as we know is the fucking Michael Jordan of the Marines, okay? He's the GOAT from everyone we've seen. Nobody's really fucking with him. <laughs> and, and even in terms of overall characters, he's probably like top five or 10 of all time. This guy is a fucking demon. But the old Garp is what people downplay a lot. Okay, so yes, Garp did lose to Aokiji, I suppose, but you gotta take into account the factors Garp had going on. Garp's focus wasn't on surviving or beating anybody's ass or anything like that. The one and only reason he had pulled up to Hajinosu was to save Kobe and all the other Marines there and uh, make sure that they make it out okay. Okay, that was his whole thing. He was just there to not fight, I mean, not to beat anybody, just to, you know, save people. That's it. And never mind the fact that he was getting fucking quadruple teamed at certain points by Yonko commanders and fucking a formal a former admiral. Like, what the fuck? Uh, old Garp, okay? He is at least admiral level. I'm telling you right now, and that's pretty fucking impressive. Old Garp, if he was active at Marineford, is beating Deathbed Whitebeard with relative ease, I'd say. Like, I think he was probably the strongest admiral level guy there. Other than probably, like, Mihawk type of deal. Well, stop fucking sleeping on Garp. He's that guy, okay? He is in my OG little band of misfit squad. Along with, like, what was it? Kid, Robin, Buggy, and Usopp, I think. Those are my guys. And, and, and my wife, I suppose. He's one of the guys that I dick ride the most. So I'd be damned. I didn't make a whole ass video on this whole situation, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, what is it? Chapter next week, I believe. So I'll be back.